Hey, what's up, everyone? This is Shavatsud from Euphoria, Euphoria, and today I'm here to uh, do a tutorial on a very requested to, uh, banner. So that is this. I made this check it banner in February, I guess. And since then, many people have been asking me how I created it. It's pretty simple. And for you guys, I'm going to do a tutorial today, right now. So first of all, go to File, create a new document. I'm going with 1920 by 1080 with transparent background contents and resolution to 72 ppi and I'm gonna hit OK. Now I'm going to select a medium dark, dark gray color that is 767676 and fill it, uh, fill the layer and I'm gonna rename to background and now first of all let's go and create a new layer and in this we're gonna create a polygon that is a triangle for me and which uh, make sure it has three sides here many people won't even know so before doing this let's go and make this go uh, maybe dark way I guess and I can, I'm gonna see. Right. so what I'm going to do right now is go to line tool and I'm gonna drag this line I mean, here, I guess. Make it white. And now I'm gonna drag another line from here. And So there you go, our first triangle is ready. So I'm gonna group this and make say triangle triangle. Um let's size the <coughs> excuse me. Size it down and let's duplicate it a lot, alright. Maybe like many times. But randomly, alright? I'm gonna control J, control T, size the sucker up. I'm not really bothering about the colors because you know when we'll be putting effects you won't even get to know what color it was so it's not any use to um, worry about colors so I'm just randomly putting right there so I'm gonna like group these triangles and say triangle and I'm gonna duplicate it again um, like control T it maybe flip horizontal um, maybe put it right here size it down yeah right it looks pretty fine and I'm gonna control J once more flip it Vertical, vertically. See, this is really random, guys. You can notice it's random. And again, duplicate it because I want to pull this place up. Control T and flip. Break. So there you go. Now what I'm going to do is duplicate all, group all these groups and hit Control G to group them and maybe name it triangles and now I'm going to change the blending mode to like luminosity uh, and make the opacity maybe 22 is fine but I'll go for down -ish. forty is fine right so Another thing is we're gonna create another layer and go to brush and use some green brushes. Um, I got these like two years back and I have no idea where I got it from. Maybe brusheasy.com. You can go Google for for them or I'll if I find them I'll put the down download link in the description. All right. So let's select this and make sure you are selecting a dark gray rather than black. All right. 
so maybe two six two six and two six is really nice let's paste it randomly again You've been thinking what the fluff I have doing right now, right? But you get to know what I what I, <laughs> when I <coughs> excuse me <laughs> when I put the every other effects um, maybe like this uh, like here and I'm gonna drag this below the triangles and name it gears for sake like it doesn't get mixed up. I'm gonna control Z it to say it gears and I'm gonna make it luminous at luminosity 2 and drag this fucking opacity to maybe like 7 alright this is looking awesome right so maybe more down ish Four to five person looks nice to me. Oops. So let's create another layer. I'm gonna use text and I'm using Typography Pro and with semi bold and 50 uh, points. I'm gonna say TUT and I'm gonna size it up to 200 and I'm gonna control 8 and put it right there to center it out what i did was selecting the canvas and going to move tool and hitting these two one two uh second last and second and second last all right maybe sizes up a bit more and i'm gonna change this color to blue because blue is what i used that time and now let's create another layer and actually actually i'm gonna control the uh, group this to text and i'm gonna go in triangle again mm, there we go yeah triangle so i'm gonna make this uh, black as it is and what i'm going to do is before doing this I'm going to rasterize this layer and you know separate out the T U and T from the layer. So I'm gonna select the T and hit Control Shift J. It's gonna make uh, T's new layer, and I'm gonna say T. Hit Enter. Select the TUT again, and I'm gonna select this again, and I'm gonna Control Shift J, and it's gonna say U, and obviously this is T. So T U T, pretty simple. So now what I'm going to do is create a new layer, go to Polygon tool and select maybe again uh, black, yeah. And I'm going to go and create a triangle. And between this Polygon tool and this T, I'm going to hold Alt to overlap that, there, and I'm going to make it overlay maybe turn the opacity down and again i'm gonna do the same overlay turn the opacity down <coughs> excuse me um i'm gonna do it again uh, for the u and maybe looks good maybe up a bit and let's go to triangle polygon tool again and, okay. and we'll do this and make it overlay 
for it, for it too. <coughs> hey, wait, I'm sorry guys. Excuse me. I've been ill for a while. So yeah. Overlay triangles. Alright, so the pattern is ready. Now what we're going to create is the uh, color correction. Alright, so let's create a new layer and I'm going to select the color um, uh, that I have because I don't remember what the color I used and I'm going to make it normal for it. So it is 3, 4, oh, I'll tell you why. Alright, so let's go. Uh, for the foreground color, I'm using 344547 and for the background, I'm using 171F29 and I'm going to go gradient overlay, make sure it's not, you have not taken the reverse and you're on the radial one and I'm going to drag it from center to one corner and there we go, it pulls it with the gradient and now I'm going to go and make it soft light oh only it is and I'm gonna so, nah I'm not gonna this one do that capacity now let's make vignette vignettes so to do that let's go to layer new layer gradients hit okay and I'm gonna go change this to black okay and make the style to radiant reverse it scale it to like 150 and make the angle 30 percent maybe 50 not 30 35 let's do it and hit okay this and hit overlay so this is what you guys been asking me to do a tutorial on. Please like this video if you like it, dislike if you don't like it, and yeah, but it will break my heart if you dislike it. And also, if you want to comment, comment, suggest me tutorials on Photoshop and Cinema 4D, and yeah, that's all I had for a tutorial today. Also, subscribe. Peace. Thanks for watching this, guys. I'll meet you guys next time. Peace out.